As a late diagnosed autistic pda -er, who also happens to be a licensed therapist, I have a very high sense of justice and I want to talk about how they disempower us at a very young age so that we can't actually make real world changes. A lot of autistic people have a very, very high sense of justice and they tend to feel things very, very deeply. We tend to have very sensitive nervous systems, right? Which is why things that seem like no big deal to other people are absolutely devastating to us. PDAers typically are um, actively passive. They tend to observe their environment and watch everything going on around them. They pick up on the injustices around them and the way people are being mistreated. And they feel very strongly about that typically, especially if it's them that's being mistreated, but really anybody in general. And I think that when we care so deeply about so many things starting so young and then we find that we're kind of gaslit by those around us that nobody else around us thinks that that's a big deal nobody seems to care that bugs are getting smushed nobody seems to care that you know children don't have food nobody seems to care that you know there are all of these really serious issues that mean so much to us and sometimes we actually get targeted because of it they use it against us they laugh at us and they mock us and they try to make us feel ridiculous for caring from a very young age sometimes. Now, as internalized PDAers, um, there is a very good chance that a lot of us um, pushed down a lot of those things and started staying quiet and started um, sitting on the sidelines because when we care that deeply, we get too dysregulated when we try to advocate for it and because they they made us feel like showing that we care about something is showing a vulnerability that they can use. And as PDAers, we don't do that. We don't give people our vulnerabilities. We don't let them use things against us, right? And so those things sometimes become things that we hide away within ourselves and we don't show other people how much we care or how deeply it is hurting us because then they have something they can use against us. And that feels threatening. But PDAers also tend to have a lack of social identity. And this is actually, this, this is seen as by a lot of people as a negative, but I see it as a strength because a social identity essentially means that you fit into a group and when you become part of that group, you kind of let go of your own individual preferences, your individual morals, your individual reasoning. And as PDAers, we don't typically do that, right? We can enter a situation and see everybody on one side of it and say, what is going on here? That doesn't make any sense. I'm not conforming to that. With all of that said, I'm done feeling disempowered and I want to talk about Gaza and I want to talk about the disabled people that are trapped there and the 400 Americans that are trapped there that are being bombed. I want to talk about the children that are being denied medical care, the children that are being starved and not given water, the children that are undergoing medical procedures at large, large numbers with no anesthesia. And I'm going to start posting about the protests that I'll be attending. So if you are in Southern California and you want to meet up